By the gods, that's a female orc, here in the human town, and she's taken one of them prisoner. I must notify the town guard right away, and Master Marcus. Together we must fight to the last drop of blood, and... I can hear you! Stay where you are. I'm, uh, I'm a mage. So I see. A, a dangerous battle mage. Now that unto the hand I find doubtful. Who, who are you? What do you want here? And how did you get here? A lot of questions. Give me one good reason why I should answer them. Her name is Elizabeth. She's come here for the annual beauty contest and has brought a golden pegasus with her. He's called Bob. Funny, you, you don't look like a beauty queen. Um, but, ooh, definitely pretty, and so. I mean, for, for a lady orc. Oh, not that orc ladies aren't pretty, I, I guess. Hey, now there's a guy who knows how to handle women. I am a bounty hunter and just passing through. Uh, are bounty hunters allowed to simply tie up you? Certainly. Bounty hunters and merchants are neutral in this war. Nobody wanted the bounty hunters. I'm just waiting for Bill the Merchant who has my provisions. Then I'm on my way. I have no idea what's going on here, but the airship could be exactly what I need for my expedition. Who did you just speak to? Uh, to no one, really. So your name isn't Elizabeth? I am known as Mazaz. Or sugar lips, greeny, or just, oi, you fella! And she is one lousy bounty hunter. That's right. I only catch imbeciles. Those who are even more stupid than me. Where are you taking your, your, your prisoners? That's none of your business, dwarf. They know, and that's enough. I'm not a dwarf. I'm a gnome. Too right, Shorty. Don't take any nonsense. Turn her into a sheep. I can only transform rabbits into a kind of a sheep. Great. That's helpful. I... I have to go. If you see the merchant, can you tell him that I'll rip his ears off if he doesn't turn up here soon? My that fault. Is, um, they gave very, me the wrong uh, coordinates. The coordinates were correct. Yeah, great. Some kind of weird orc system. Look at me. Do I look like an orc? Maybe they should have given me the coordinates for a human navigation system. Perhaps you could have simply listened while things were being explained to you at great length. I've been a captain for 15 years. I don't need things explained to me. Quite obviously you do. At the very least, you might have noticed that it was not a stinking headquarters when you landed in the wedding cake! The bridesmaids looked pretty suspect. Ah, so that was why you decided to strip search them, was it? I don't know what that fountain is supposed to represent, but I hope I never meet it in real life. My fault? They gave me the wrong coordinates. The coordinates were correct. Yeah, great. Some kind of weird orc system. Look at me. Do I look like an orc? Maybe they should have given me the coordinates for a human navigation system. Perhaps you could have simply listened while things were being explained to you at great length. I've been a captain for 15 years. I don't need things explained to me. Quite obviously you do. At the very least, you might have noticed that it was not a stinking headquarters when you landed in the wedding cake! The bridesmaids looked pretty suspect. Ah, so that was why you decided to strip search them, was it? Shield handers one of these down at the gate, too. I guess dozens of guards used to patrol the town. My fault? They gave me the wrong coordinates. The coordinates were correct. 
Yeah, great. Some kind of weird orc system. Look at me. Do I look and like an orc? Mage. Maybe they should have fighter. given me the coordinates for a human navigation so system. That thing as a lance. Perhaps you could have simply listened while things were being explained to you at great length. I've been a captain for 15 years. I don't need things explained to me. Quite obviously you do. At the very least, you might have the noticed holds up this that it roof. was not a it stinking headquarters when you landed in the, the wedding holds up cake. This little roof. It looks the pretty bridesmaids strong. looked pretty suspect. Ah, so that was why you decided to strip search a large them, net. was it? Might be a fishing net, or maybe one of those cargo nets. The net is a good two now meters long. Now that really and very was strong. just bad luck. She can't blame me for that. No, of course not. The treasure simply flew away. What was I supposed to do? Rope. There was it's a whole herd a of cows there and I had to give the shaman something. Perhaps you shouldn't have relieved yourself a in well their holy lake. Ten meters long. There weren't it any signs. How deal. was I to know that that moon thing was reflecting in it? Oh, never mind. If I were them, I would have just strung you up. Well, you can do that now. Do you really think you'll get away so lightly? A bale of cargo. Looks heavy. Maybe compressed cotton or the like. A bale of cargo. Looks heavy. It's a long way down beneath the plank. You wouldn't catch me standing on it. I can't do anything with that plank as long as the bounty hunter is standing on it. I can't do anything. As someone who comes from the mountains, I'm not really an expert on ships, but that's called a thingy. I don't know what that pipe's for, but it has something to do with uh, airships. As someone who comes from the mountains, I'm... She really does look terrifying. I mean... I don't know what orc women usually look like, but that one, I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. The man looks like he's had a rough time of it. His clothes are torn and he's unshaven and we should probably be very grateful for the fact that we're out in the fresh air. The man looks like he's had a rough time of it. I've never seen a creature like that before. It's similar to the demon from the inn. Maybe it's just an animal. It, it could be a kind of otter, a porky otter. She really does look terrifying. I don't think I should really talk to her unless I absolutely have to. Ooh. Hi. I'm Wilbur, who are you? Someone with a tiny problem, as you can see. Could you do me a favor and whack that green lady over the head? Come on, Nate. I'm only doing my job here. I know the job market's tough, but yours is going to cost me my neck. Undoubtedly. Are you a pirate or something? No. Yes. Well, I have been called that occasionally, but I'm just about as much of a pirate as Mazaz here is a ballet dancer. I'm the captain of this proud ship, the Mary. I'm a freelance treasure hunter. You're a swindler. And you're a terrible ballet dancer. I like ballet. You're a professional treasure hunter. So you know your way around sunken temples and the like. Of course. I have traveled all across the skies to the ends of the earth. I've fought Cyclops and seen things that a man probably shouldn't have. Such as Mazaz here, for example. Suppose I needed to travel to a certain island, and I could show you the island on a map. Could you bring me there? Well, apart from the fact that I'm sitting here in a cage, then sure! Then we'll just have to free you. <clears throat> Hello? I still happen to be here. What's that got to do with it? Hmm. See you later. Take care, Shorty. Captain Nate is a treasure hunter. And he has his own ship. 
Someone like him would be perfect for my team. But how do I get past that orc lady and all on my own? But I still can't let you go up, my lovely. I will say it once more. I have to give the Archmage a book. It's important. Well, I don't know anything about a book. And believe me, whatever the Archmage is up to, it's more important than your stupid book. But... End of discussion. Only graduate mages or people with an invitation from the Archmage can go into the tower. And to be precise, I don't see any of those at the moment, sorry. The elf looks pretty grumpy. I always thought elves stood above it all. Looks like I was wrong. The elf looks pretty grumpy. Hello. Hmm. Hi. You're an elf, right? Indeed. And you are a kind of wood goblin? I'm a gnome! Wilbur Weathervin. Master Wilbur Weathervin. Pleased to meet you. You're a mage? With diploma. Then you can go into the upper town and into the mage tower. That's exactly where I've just come from. Could you take me up there? Who are you? My name is Ivadora Eleonora Clarissa, Princess of Silverwood. Ooh, and you're a real princess from Miss from Silverwood. Call me Ivo. He's called Cheap Cheap. I overheard you talking to the city guard about a book. Do you need to take it to the Archmage? I have to. It's very important. Could it be that you got this book from a gremlin secret seller? A gremlin who shortly before had been ejected over the White Ridge Mountains? Get out of my brain, you mage! You almost dropped the professor on my head. He sent me here with a secret message for the Archmage. Oh, were you able to bring him the news? Yes, it was very disquieting. I believe that the book you're carrying explains just where an extremely powerful artefact can be found. Yeah, the gremlin did hint at something of that sort. He was very concerned. He's got every reason to be. The Archmage is gone. He's trying to find out exactly where the artefact is hidden. And then I'm supposed to go get it, quietly and secretly, along with two friends. But it's here. This book tells us where the artefact can be found. Unfortunately, the Archmage doesn't know that. This whole story is too much for one norm. I think we should work together. I should really be at home in the elf burrow listening to Uncle Ignatio droning on. I am in enough trouble already. Don't you understand? This book explains the exact location of the artifact of divine power. That's precisely the information the Archmage is looking for. Then take the book and wait for him here. And if the shades are faster than we are? What if they manage to extract the information from the old gnome before the Archmage returns? And what then? Are we to fight the shades single-handed? And what are we talking about here, by the way? What is it that the Shadow Army want to get their hands on? I can't tell you that here. How about this? I'll get you into the Mage Tower somehow, and there I'll show you the Professor's message and... And then I can decide whether I'm in or not. It's a deal. I'll be back. And I will wait. <laughs> 